Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, uh, oh no. Oh no. Uh, good day to you, sir. I said good day, sir. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I am hungover in the most perfectly normal way. Just a perfectly hungover boy. Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiaboo, and I feel like Mr. Scullington back there. Which I drew this morning as a representation of how I feel today. I am hungover. <laughs> uh, last night we had some friends over, and... Uh, somebody pulled out our, our Jenga set, which has drinking game rules, um, drawn with marker on each of the pieces. They're beautiful. They're, it's a gorgeous game. Uh, it's also a game that I should not play again, because goddamn, that got me f fucked up. Um, so, I ended up waking up quite late today, uh, with a splitting headache and the whole hungover deal, uh, so the chances that I watch Kimetsu the movie today are pretty low. Um, the poll has mostly come back in. Mostly people want to see the film version, and so it'll be the film version. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that, and, and how I want to do that, and how I want it to go. Uh, I don't want it to go with a hungover boy doing the thing. I'd like to be able to focus on it and be effective and at my best. And I'm not at my best today, uh, but I'll survive. And so... I think I'm going to treasure hunt. I'm, I'm, I'm Tiabu and I'm here to be here. And that's the, that's the point. I'm currently looking at the winter 2023 list. Yesterday we managed to watch Tomo-chan is a girl, which I found quite funny and j just okay enough in terms of production to get the funnies through and be solid on that front. Uh, and Revenger, which felt like a bit of a mishmash that didn't work out for me some interesting concepts that just didn't quite fly. Uh, I wish I wished for more there. We move from there on to a show that looks terrible and I'm I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, Hyoken no Majutsushi wa ga sekai wo suberu. It's a light novel based uh, isekai thing maybe? It might not even be a, an isekai. Nope, a commoner going to an Arnold Academy of Sorcery. However, he is the famous Ice Blade Sorcerer, and one of the strongest sorcerers alive. But he wants nothing more than to live an ordinary school life. I mean, okay, so here's here's what I see. I look at the cast. We got Yuji Every Lead. So this is Kirito. He's, he's Kirito. <laughs> I'm the most famous sorcerer boy in the entire video game industry. Hi, I'm, I'm not Kirito, I promise. Um, he's Yuji Every Lead. He's a, a picture perfect self insert blank space character. Great. We surround him with grills. And there's redhead grill, there's blue haired grill, pink haired girl, grill, dark haired grill, blonde pigtails haired grill, white haired grill. There, it's all the, it's all the colors of the rainbow. Ah, isn't this just the character from High School DxD? Also, isn't that isn't that just a uh, uh, Grammarie? Yes, yes. That's it's the same picture. I mean, I get that High School DxD has way way more layers of the sexy added to it, and I mean, I can't complain about the layers of the sexy added to it, but it it's the same character. All three reviews, mostly not recommended. Good, 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 good. Let's look at the promo art. Oh boy, so that's what the light novels look like. Th that is... Okay, so there's a layer here, which is that, first, I do not like the design of the female character that's presented here. I don't like her face, uh, uh, the way her face is drawn, or the way that her hair is drawn. It feels, actually, it feels like it's from decades ago. When did this air? Or, or when did this, this light novel come out? Adaptation. This, oh my god, what a name. 
Holy macaroni. When did this, when did this, July 2020, July 2020, Rico Corrier for the art, okay? Uh, two, two women drew it, or it seems. Published manga, a couple of things, Alice or Alice, Juju Mujin Fafnir, okay? Wow, really does feel like it's out of a different era. So we hint at the sexiness of the character. He's sort of standoffish and utterly bland and boring. She's doing just the smiley, ah, smiley girl face. I like that cover way better than this cover. This cover is way worse looking, and I don't know, I don't know why. So uh, I don't like the way that the faces are drawn on either of the characters. That we have to, we imply titty in, a, in the way that we do, it feels real weird. What are these uniforms? And then there's magical stuff going on in the background. Is the main character reaching out toward viewer? And who's... Actually, whose arm is that? It's his arm. That's his arm. And then she... Her arm... Okay, so this is... It looks... It's like AI art where the, the arms are, like, crossed over and I can't tell which arm is which. Look, I'm not a great artist. I... I you could you could see the, the hand at the bottom that's meant to be punching me in the face... Is pretty shite, and my my psychological depiction of a skull. I didn't go and look at a reference piece for that. It, it's kind of shit, right? So who am I to judge? Well, I'm me, and I have eyes, and I can judge. And I judge that the way that their hands cross over with the same color uniform makes things confusing. <laughs> because I can really, I can really, if I blur my eyes a little bit, I can see her arm doubling in length and becoming this like. Wah! <laughs> Oh, I do not like that. Okay. Very shiny. Very shiny. Very shiny. So what what do we what do we know? He is the ice blade sorcerer. He's got ice blades everywhere. So I guess he's gonna be able to ice blade fate up and stuff. Uh oh, I didn't realize from the first thing, he he wipes it across him and looks through it. And so his piercing gaze is piercing, but also it reveals that he is himself the sparkly white hair ice, ice sorcerer boy. So we get an element of, like, missed identity or, or differentiated identity there. Oh, goodness. The fidelity on the characters in the background, these three, really takes a hit. Oh, wait, no, it's, that's the same throughout. It's the same on all of the small characters on everything. I can see the digital gradients on the building behind them, and the digigrass. Fine. Reasonable. The... Oh, man. Um... I... Uh, I... Uh, anime super smart boy. A uh, red uniform. <laughs> ah, that's the one. Kami no mi. Uniforms. Yeah, the red uniforms are just like the ones in Kami no mi. Except Kami no mi looks great. Uh, and holds up. And is from like 20 years ago, right? How old is Kami no mi? The world God only knows. 2010. 13 years ago. Okay. And holds up. And the character designs are in- Oh, hello. Well, they know, they know what they're selling, at least. The character designs are fascinating. The main character's got some style to him. And a little bit of condescension and stuff. This character doesn't seem to have that. He seemed, It says he just wants to live his best life, basically. He just wants to, to follow his joy and be an ordinary human. Oh, God, the fan service is good. It's good. The, the, these characters are, are attractive. And attractively drawn. Fuck. Coming out of Studio Man Globe. Uh, shit, I, this makes me want to go and rewatch Kami no Mi. Because this is a fun fucking show. Alright. Instead, I'm going to watch The Ice Blade Sorcerer is... What is this called? Shall Rule the World. What is the... What is the light novel title? Because it's way more than that. It's way... It's way more than that. Hyoken no majutsu shi ga sekai o suberu, sekai saikyo no majutsu de aru shonen wa, majutsu gakuin ni nyu gaku sudu. So, something about the mage's new life in school, the greatest sorcerer in the world, 
is a normal boy. I am I am the mag the greatest mage of the school. I I go to magic school. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's go to magic school. Take me to magic school, boyo. Take me take take me down to the paradise city where the magic's cool and the girls are shitty. Now oh, won't you please take me home, BB timer? Yeah. Oh, is somebody dead? <laughs> oh, sorry, somebody's dead. Oh, is it the Ice Blade Sorcerer who's dead? Ah, oh, very sad. Wow, well, shit. <laughs> he bursts into blood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So you can you can accidentally do too much magic. I like the song. I'm shocked. Oh my god. Just exploding into a pool of blood is amazing. How <laughs> Oh my gosh. Man, I gotta figure out how I can effectively describe that for a D&D &D campaign dream. <laughs> oh. Those are not very big pillows. Those are bigger pillows. What? I right, okay. The cast looks way better in the in the OP than they do in the uh, multicolored everybody. Ice swords everywhere. White hair, blue eyes. Great. The cast looks way better. And the, and the OP song is... I mean, she's screaming. She's, she's doing it. The boy who became the world's strongest sorcerer enters the Magic Academy. Indeed. Welcome to Magic Academy. Ah. We're going to see an instant drop in animation quality. Oh! An ordinary. Wow, that's just the phrase for it. Oh, she's, she's full foaming at the mouth. Draco Malfoy. Draco... Mr. Malfoy. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. All right, Crab and Femgoyle. Oh, the Nettie. Top tier. <laughs> Top tier classism. <laughs> it's Kimetsu now. <laughs> Whoa! It's Asuna! She's so cool! Why, really? Oh! 
<laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. It's truly straight out of two decades ago. And not good. Lady. Lady. <laughs> Let me put my fedora on so I can tip it to you, please. Man, do we have... Is there no better... No better phrase for that? <laughs> Sparkle, sparkle. Transition, transition. Ah. Mr. Dumbledore. Mrs. Dumbledore. She was just hanging out down below stage. Like a freaking Britney Spears concert. All right. Ah, ah. <laughs> well, the whole the whole panning shot with the multiple layers of people was weird. But then the the walking shot with the fire coming in. Oh, big fire! Let's do it. Big fire! Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. hey, the little uh, swirly hair in the center that, that fell was cute. That was cute. Looks like not a person. You know, it's... You need enough fidelity on a character to make them look like a person. So that your brain goes, that's a, that's a me. Ooh, it's a pretty. And we don't have it. it it's not there. They're all, they're all just slightly off. Just slightly off. Like deviant art pictures. Like my, like my art, where it's like, oh, that's just a little bit off from exactly the way that it should be. Ah, ah, la, 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 la. But your name is Grady. Oh, he's, he's that way because he's military. <laughs> he's just fiending for a beating. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna arrange some kind of duel thing. Oh. That's a war. Hi, I'm Hermione Granger. I know all the things. Here's your exposition about society. Oh, Diamond. Grand, sorry, Grand. I would have really expected it to be Diamond, but okay. There are only seven. Wait, isn't that exactly the same as Mushoku Tensei? Uh -huh. And so Ice Blade Sorcerer is the top of the top. Right, cool, 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 cool. Huh. Ah. She an idol? Is she an idol? Why is she doing a little dance? I I guess she is. Oh.
Hmm. Interesting. So how do you know that they exist? Somebody knows that they exist. Eh. Eh, ordinary. Oh my god. Eh. So. Everybody deserves to be here. What do you mean? It means everything. Look at the shit on his face. That's great. Oh. Alright, how's this weird shit gonna work? What's this weird fucking pool game gonna be? Oh, it's alchemy. Oh, it's alchemy. Oh, we just full live in a simulation. Ah, you... Who voices? <laughs> what? Oh. Whoa, whoa. What? Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Only lasts a certain period of time. Okay. Oh no, you can just erase it. Okay. So you just are what? Like uh, that says some interesting fundamental things about our world that have no relevance to the plot at all. Probably. I have a few. I have a few. Living things. Oh! You can manifest living things? Oh! What? <laughs> ah! Ah! The physics engine of this world doesn't make any sense. Oh. I bet there's one. Well, she understands it. Let's just try to figure out why she's a said normal. Whoa! I can do the magic! Are we gonna go to nude for this? No, we're going to brain. Whose voice is that? Does that happen in your brain when you do this? Sasuga Rosusama! Sasuga. Huh? <laughs> 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 try to kill him? A what? That's a new term. Oh, we're just gonna cut out of there. Okay, so now you're gonna try to kill him. Was that the, the, the bluish white haired girl? I know who you are. We all know who you are. Ah. And a bond is created. Oh yeah, tell us more.
Don't let your dreams be memes. Oh, he's gonna slip up and say that. Uh. Uh huh. Answers. What he means is, I know her, and she's saved my saved my ass before. There is now. No, she's got elf ears. Got elf ears. She's hiding the elf ears. Another physical man, the IOIs. Just just fuck already, jeez. Get a room. Get a room. Most libraries have study rooms. Go get one. Man, my guy is, is going for all of the routes. Yeah, I've been in war. <laughs> I've seen some shit. How are the... How are the... <laughs> Every time he sees him in any in any memory, he explodes into blood. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, there's this, I thought it would be bad guy. Roommate. Okay. Okay, but I'm gonna make you prove yourself. Strength! I'm a blood knight! Tell me you're a blood knight. You're really cool! <laughs> We're just stealing the Armstrongs, huh? That's truly what it is. Just full Phil stealing Lewis. I don't mind. I that's the best scene in the episode so far. That's great. What is that? What oh? What is that shirt, dude? Oh, uh. my guy! What are you wearing? That is a women's shirt. I guarantee it. No, I mean, fine. Do it. Wear what you want, but my guy. I'm a Yamato Nadeshko. I am the perfect, pretty, beautiful girl, and I've got a little beauty mark right under my eye like a normal girl. <sighs> oh, he gets to be the friend who tells us stuff? Yeah! Yeah! Friend who tells us stuff acquired. He immediately begins. Thanks, bro. Fucking, fucking thanks, bro. Exposition boy. My guy. Alright, can we get bad bad boy to do a thing now? He's gotta he's gotta stop him now. Oh, she's very perfect. Top tier. And a total babe. Ah. Uh, Ah. Uh, that's the perfect place for, for Al for, uh, to, to duel him or something. I like the angle choice. Reen! You're not Reen! Tosaka! <laughs> You're not Tosaka. Soon, 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 soon. Give me more layers of twin there no ready. She's fully self aware about her twin tails, huh? Oh. She's not a tsundere. She's.
best animation in the episode. What the fuck? Rip. Rip. <laughs> Clear every route, dude. Get it, boyo. Sorry, Irish. I'd be so glad. So what are you going off to the side to do anyway, Ray? Oh, it was to meet somebody important. They know each other, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, okay, good. At least one character in the in this space knows who he is and what his deal is. Abby. <laughs> so serious. Oh, you're just like Howard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're just gonna duel. They're just straight into it. <laughs> Wait, you don't even set it up. It's just happening. Oh my god. Wizardo, wizardo. Why? Kokoro no Tomo. Immediately, we're heart friends. Let's go, dude. This guy's great. They both sound like wizard. <laughs> Hitting with this music? Uh, I'll show you ordinary. <gasps> yeah, I don't give a fuck about you. I straight up do not give a fuck about you. Fully and genuinely, I do Oh, it's so... Oh, this is great. <laughs> Man, I didn't know they could still make them like this. I enjoyed the hell out of this 20 minutes. This has been a great 20 minutes. That's not, It's a terrible show. Oh, wow, they still make them like this. The That is the middest fan service. We're just going to continue. It, com it completely lacks appeal. Uh, um, amazing. Um, amazing. I mean, I mean, okay, there's there's plenty going on here. It's reasonably fine art, but... <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, we got a preview. Go. Oh, sick. Oh, okay. Yeah, go, Kirito, get him. Go get him, Kirito. I didn't know they could make shows like this anymore. It's a shitty harem show. Dude, I haven't seen a shitty harem show in a in forever, in like a decade. Really? R really, truly. When's the last shitty harem show that you watched? Last harem show that I watched, if you can even call it that, is Monogatari. Which is the opposite of shitty and, and knows exactly what it's doing with fan service. And it's like spectacularly uh uh not just self-aware but like self-altering like like uses the awareness of its purpose in order to alter its purpose and, and create a totally different experience <sighs> oh, 
various isekai that have a harem to them? Is Musho does Mushoku Tensei count? Yeah, kind of. Sort of. But this is a, a straight-up, multi-route, school harem with an OP protagonist and and hyper archetypal they're they're they share archetypes their archetypes are blurred so it's like it's a little less clear than you would expect from the outset archetypally motivated femtagonists with a uh, the the blandest main character now the reasons for his blandness kind of make sense right he's a little bit more mature and stoic because he's seen some death destruction horror and murder namely his apparently best friend exploding into blood right in front of him just bah, 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 bah. wow wow the the evilest most classist evil boy sets up our stakes the the there so many of the characters are introduced in a way that's like you recognize who this character is? Good. Then we don't have to spend time introducing who they actually are to you. Like the the best friend boy, there are a thousand of that character. Best friend boy who's who is immediately friends with you and is there to tell you everything about what's going on in the school. Um Digi Digi talks about exactly that phenomena in uh Ask War Sucks in the Asterisk Asterisk War Sucks. Digi's tour de force of of breaking down a shitty piece of school school fight anime you could take so much of the ass war criticism and copy pasta apply it here Eulis exiting the scene activates Classmate Guy to make first contact with the main character. If you know anything about high school anime, then you're probably familiar with Classmate Guy. Every high school anime protagonist has at least one or two of them around. They usually exist for the sole purpose of providing exposition about the popular female characters, being the butt of comic relief, and or declaring their jealousy over how much female attention the main character gets. They've usually got brown hair and barely stand out from the rest of their classmates, and are given some kind of dumb, unmemorable name that will never ever stick with you. And you'll probably forget that they exist most of the time until they randomly show up. Classmate Guy basically explains all of the shit that we already figured out about Light Novel Girl just from looking at the promo art. But, but this is worse than Ass War in a lot of ways. It's shittier, it's thinner, the characters are less appealing, less interesting, and exactly the same. Fascinating. If, if you gave me a year and control of an anime studio and told me to make the most milk toast bland show that I could possibly imag imagine, I would have a hard time making something like this. It, uh, it, it baffles me. It, it's amazing. It's amazing. Truly a work of great talent. Broken ass, power fantasy ass, motherfucking protagonist. Stoic as hell so you feel like you're a cool kid when you identify with the character. Bunch of girls with different hair colors and titties of different sizes. Because you have to have titties of different sizes. All of whom somehow have something interesting going on with the main character. Either they're, they know him from the past and have respect for him. Or they're trying to be his friend because they're trying to be his friend. Or he just happens to run past them on his morning run and they go, Wow, you're so hot! You run every day? That's amazing! You almost lifted up my skirt with how fast you were running! That's pretty fucking fast! Or they're sad, shy, and uh, manipulable, and so you, you, you meet them in the library and find out that they're looking at some magic stuff that's of interest. Or they're part of the squad with the most... Most blandly classist, hateful, mustache twirlingly Disney villainy evil antagonist boy ever, which seems to be the core threat against uh against our character's normal life. Of course, there's gonna be something bigger and broader going on, but I can't be asked to care about it because I don't care about any of the characters, except for Howard, who's already exploded into blood. The only character that I've cared about is already a puddle of blood. <laughs> so, so, you lost me, show. The character designs are fine if a decade out of date. 
the representations of the character designs in show do feel a little off continuously continuously they feel a little off a little deviant art e a little a little messed up Oh, and the CG effects are, are god-awful, and I don't even want to address the magic system because it doesn't matter. Because it doesn't matter. We do all this explanation of, of this deep and intricate magic system, which is think in code and then rewrite the laws of reality, and, and that'll work. And so, like a voice talks over it telling you what you're doing. So we clearly live in a simulation that somebody made so that you could access the underlying code of the world piece by piece i guess i don't i don't even want to expend the brain power to try to wrap my brain around it it's not worth it is it it's not worth it show's awful show is awful let's see what the mal reviews say i assume that they say show is awful do not get the point of this show it looks like a generic dating system the mc can go in this path or this path seems pro it doesn't seem promising Generic power fantasy, all the girls are drooling over a blank MC, robotic, story doesn't help, it's Kirito bait, there you go, and a boar fest, yep, sound part being good, no it isn't, all powerful secret weapon, unconventional magic method, soulless and expressionless husk who can do and solve everything by his own, everyone else feels like stupid shallow husks who can't properly manage to do anything without the uh, MC, cheap and lazy art style, no detail or depth, yep. No sense of motion and weight. Yep. Story and progression is non-existent. Backstory is told in flashback. Motivations are shallow and unsubstantiated. He just does things because someone told him to. Nothing else. An average uninspired seasonal fantasy show. Way worse than that. Way worse than that. Way worse than average. Terrible animation quality. The plot is generic. It's a harem anime. He doesn't like act like a total child that gets nervous and acts like a more Yeah, because he, he doesn't have any expression whatsoever. Yeah, there's, there's certainly a power fantasy here, and the fantasy is something like, what if I were cool and confident enough to talk to people, and maybe they would like me? That's a reasonable fantasy to have. Fair enough. We're gonna move on from there. Next up on the docket is Nija... Uh, peace. <laughs>